Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? My name is Supernatural Kelly and I'm back with an inspirational word from God. So today we're going to be talking about patience. But before we do that, let's welcome the Holy Spirit into this atmosphere and allow him to take over this atmosphere. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us with another day to come in your presence, Father God. In Jesus name, we thank you, Father God, for blessing us with this day, Lord. We thank you for your love, your joy, your peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We thank you, Father God, that today is going to be a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous day, dear Lord. We're going to be happy today and healthy today. I plead the blood of Jesus over my friends, family, and myself, my subscribers, and everybody that's tuned in to this message, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for blessing me with another message to share with your people, Father God. I thank you that you chose me to do this today, Lord. I don't take it lightly. I don't take it for granted, Father God. Thank you for always speaking to me and encouraging me to share the messages with your children, Father God. I, pl I pray that their ears are anointed to hear and their hearts are ready to receive what you have to say in this hour. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for going before me and speaking through me, none of me, and all of you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about patience. I'm not going to be taking up too much of y'all time. Okay, so what is patience? Patience is... Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. So this is what God, this is one of the fruits of the spirit. God wants us to have patience, okay? God also led me to a scripture in 2 Peter 3 and 9. I have a few different translations. I like to start in the king james version but then i go to the message i go to amplified i go to the niv i go to all the different a lot of different translations just so the word could be bro broken down to me so that i can understand it so that when i come here i can you know give it to you all with simplicity and understanding so let's read the first um version of second chip second Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. I'm sorry. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9. It says in the NIV, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So that's the NIV. It's saying that God is not slow in keeping his promises, okay? As some may count slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, okay? He's patient with you so that when he brings you to the place where he wants you, you will be ready. You will have everything that you needed to be in that position, Let's read the message version. In the message version, it's going to be um, 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. It says, don't overlook the obvious here, friends. With God, one day is as good as a thousand years, a thousand years as a day. God isn't late with his promises as some measure lateness. He is restraining himself on account of you, holding back the end because he doesn't want anyone lost. He's given everyone space and time to change. Okay, so I'm just referring the scripture to, you know, us being patient in God's promises. In the scripture, they're talking about being patient 
with one another so that, you know, example, when we trying to bring someone to Christ, when we trying to get someone saved, we have to be patient with that person. Okay, because God's will is not for them to perish. He wants everyone to reach repentance. But again, he wants to make sure that you're in the proper place, that you're ready, okay, for the promises that he has for you. Let's read it in the Amplified Version. In the Amplified Version of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, it says, The Lord does not delay as though he were unable to act and is not slow about his promises as some count slowness but is extraordinarily patient toward you not wishing for any to perish but for all to come to repentance okay again god is not slow in you know bringing whatever it is that you want to come to pass as we count slowness okay he's not one day could be as a thousand years to god and a thousand years can be one day okay so we're not on our timing we are on god's timing when god is ready when he feel like you are ready to receive the blessings or the promises or the dreams that you have asked him for he's going to give it to you at the perfect time okay patience is a virtue meaning if you wait it's going to be perfect okay the longer you have to wait the better it's going to be so i know that it's a new year a lot of people is hoping you know for a lot of things this new year but you have to be patient the year just started give god a chance to work on you he's already actually seen the ending from the beginning okay so he already know what he's going to do for you and it's going to be way better than you ever imagined if you just be patient and allow him to add the finishing touches to whatever promises that you ask for then it's going to be marvelous okay it's going to be marvelous so in the meantime just keep going on with your day you know just like the time don't stop you don't stop you keep going okay you keep going you keep watering those um dreams those seeds and wait for it to sprout be patient God has not forgotten about you. He saves the best for last. So that's all I have for y'all for today. I hope that this message blessed someone. I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, everyone that tuned in to these messages. Um, I thank you and I hope that it's helping in Jesus' name. I pray that, you know, you guys continue to support my channel by liking and subscribing and sharing the videos if it bless you um i'm sure that it'll help someone else and again i love y'all and i pray that whatever it is that you're asking god for i hope that it comes um you know at the right timing at the perfect time okay because we know that everything don't happen exactly when we want it to happen but it's always on God's timing, okay? He's never late. He's always right on time. Now, I love y'all. I pray that y'all have a blessed day. Peace.